Why, hello! Uh, I'm very excited, because as you can see, I am playing Crusader Kings 3. Yeah, I played a bit of CK2 on this channel back in the day, so uh, I'm excited to, to play this. Um, so, I I know it's been a very long while, and I, I do promise to talk about that. But first, let's, let's get ourselves a, a character pick and get started. Uh, so I think uh, I really like this Fate of England scenario, and uh, I mean, of course, just like in CK2, you can play as any ruler. Uh, but even though it's an easy start, and I think I, in fact, I know I can handle more difficult than that, for this playthrough, I'm gonna do a nice chill Den King of Denmark start, uh, just because I think King Sven here, uh, he's someone I occasionally played in CK2. He's got an interesting starting position because he's like the dark horse candidate, right, for Throne of England. Like he doesn't even start out in the war, but I mean, you can you can do it. Uh, and you've got a bunch of kids, because this guy, he's like, you know, frickin' Walder Frey here. He gets around. Uh, so yeah, King Sven of Denmark, uh, with blood ties to England and Norway, Sven has strong claims to both thrones. Unfortunately, his armies are small and undisciplined, making a war of conquest unfeasible. However, there are other ways to pursue one's dreams. If your children were married into powerful families, it could grant many useful alliances, Alliances you could leverage to found an empire that would rival Rome itself. So this is who we're going to be playing today. I'll just go with whatever the default game rules are. That's fine by me. Let's get started. Uh, so yeah, it's generating the world history. Uh, here we go. The world in 1066. So let's go ahead and do uh, all our stuff we gotta do to get started. Which, uh, I gotta get married, I gotta get a lifestyle, I gotta nominate a successor, uh, which I really gotta do, because, you know, uh, gotta make sure my titles pass on. So my, my first gut instinct, what I might just do is start with my oldest son, until I can, well, let's see, he's content, he's lustful, he's parent. He's not really very good, um, and my voting strength is very high here. Uh, you can see, like, I mean, they're, you know, the vassals, if they band together, can outvote me, but uh, I think I can get them on my side. So what I need to do is I'm going to look at my sons and see who's actually good. And he's Chase. Not the biggest fan of Chase, but it's not too bad, uh, especially when you start with an already rather large dynasty, as I do. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I, I think I'm almost certainly going to have to exclude the women. I, I'm i not going to want to deal with trying to wrangle the votes for, uh, for one of them. That's going to be much more difficult. Um, but right now, I think Nud is... Uh, is maybe the no oh, Prince Eric though is strong, so he's he's still he's still young. So I uh, I'm not gonna want he's gregarious, he's just, he's generous and eh, generous. I mean that comes with ten percent less income, and that that's tough. But like, oh man, people are gonna like him. He's gregarious. He's People just is really helpful in an electoral thing. I'm gonna consider him. He's gonna be on these <laughs> deceitful, interesting. Um, Kelsey. Okay, I'm I'm going to consider him as a as a choice for heir down the line. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna want to go. I'm gonna want to go with someone who's already ready to be king. Should it come to it. And that means you are going to be the king next, if I were to die. Now, that's that's good. Okay. Um, military. I'm going to want to create some man-at-arms regiments in the nearest future. Uh, those really help your army. Let's look at my issues. I can modify some contracts because I have hooks. I don't think I'm going to need these hooks to help with the election. Um... Which, yeah, okay, children have 
I need guardians, I need to get those, and I d definitely need to get my family members married. That, because that is going to be how I manage to do some, you know, effective warring here. So, my two main targets are... Oh, excuse me, I am sorry about that alarm. And my and, and Norway, but you can see they are both quite powerful. They get a special event troops. So I think for alliances, well, Sweden is a natural choice, especially if I can get a marriage of someone that I might be able to press their claim later uh, in such a way that, you know, like maybe I get a woman who will pass the claim on to her son who will be of my dynasty, and then either I can press her claim or his claim, especially if I end up electing him as king. Uh, I want an alliance with France, and this will just be an honest to God, like, yeah, you know, regular old alliance, not necessarily with plans to uh, attack them. Uh, but the, the main thing I need to keep an eye on is I do not want Norway to win the, the invasion. Um, I either want Harold uh, here, Godwinson, to hold on to his uh, throne, or I want William to win, uh, because... These are two, my two targets, right? And I don't want the same person holding both. Uh, then they'll, he'll be twice as hard to fight. Uh, so, let's see. Let's, let's, I, I have plenty of marriages to work with. Let's take a look at my own first. Uh, and look at, let's look at alliance power. The Duchy of Normandy. So, on one hand, I mean, I do say, I, you know, if he wins, that's great. But keep in mind, I am going to want to fight England later. So if I have an alliance with him, that could be awkward. Um, similarly, Norway, but like Croatia. Oh, that's not one I had considered. Um, Sweden, I definitely... I, I wouldn't likely have children with her. So the claim isn't useful, but the alliance certainly is. Uh, France, now that's one I definitely am going to... Um, so let's let's keep those in mind, but let's keep in mind I also have other marriages to do. So uh, keep in mind he is currently um, my chosen heir, right? Why is my primary title still Harold? Okay, there we go. Um, oh, let's keep things paused. I haven't done everything. Okay, so, um, let's see. With him, and let's actually bring, let's bring it back up now that he's in Norway. He could also get that Croatian alliance, Transylvania. All right, uh, let's do it. It's power. I mean, Hungary. Hungary would be a decent alliance, so I could do something like Keep in mind, for him, he is actually going to have to potentially be my heir, so there is a lot of, uh, you know, I actually do want to think about potential inheritances as well. Um, and actually, with that in mind, it might be worthwhile to go with someone who's not as likely to be my heir. Or I can go just for the freaking alliance. Like, let's do... Let's see, he's 16. He's 11. That's not a, a bad age difference, but maybe... Do I have any other... I know I've got plenty of sons here. Yeah, like, say Sven. How about you get married to the French girl? You're about the same age. They are a little bit related, might end up having inbred kids. I am completely okay with that. I have such a big dynasty that if some of them are, are a little bit, you know, janky, I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, so Sven has been, Sven's uh, marriage has been arranged for. Let's keep in mind I also want to look at daughters though, right? Because they can get me alliances. Uh, What kind of natural lineal marriages could you get? I mean, Gwynedd. 
I'll think about it, but I don't, um, if you have, I don't know how many alliance it is, it is, uh, but if you have a certain amount, uh, people will stop being willing, well, they'll be like, you have too many alliances, I'm not going to marry you. Okay, so, yeah, I definitely do want to figure out some sort of arrangement with Sweden, so that's probably just going to be, have to be one of my daughters. Right. You. Yeah, Sweden is a is a good alliance. And again, they're a little bit uh, related, but I need the alliance. So there we go, Sweden. Um, I am also going to need a lifestyle uh, choice. Let's. Let's take a look, okay, a little bit more at my situation and at my realm. Um, so yeah, this is, you can see I own a decent amount of the land directly and actually have room for more in my domain. Uh, Yuland is a pretty big vassal of mine. That's my son, my original heir, and my spy master. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, here's the county of Fyn, my chancellor. I am going to have to look at my council a little bit. Uh, my steward here, and my son, okay, he owns uh, quite a bit of it. Maybe I'll make him a duke, preemptively. I do need to find him a, a good marriage still. Or wait, no, I think I proposed one. Because I'm not seeing the unmarried heir thing. Okay, anyway. Um... Oh, right, because they're brothers and stuff. Okay. Now, what wars can I declare? Uh, quite a few. Uh, mostly against the pagans, but also against the emperor, because I think uh, he has some of my de jure land. Alright, council. Let's take a look at my council situation. Are you the only powerful vassal that doesn't have a position? And are you good at anything? Not really. Sorry, Count Ragnar. You, you are too worthless. Um, I do need to get a spouse as well. Um, but my, let's see, my Archbishop already likes me. That's good. So, uh, let's talk differences from CK2. Uh, one of the big ones, your, all your, if you haven't seen the Dev Diaries, all your temple holdings are held by your Archbishop uh, at once. So, they're pretty powerful. Keep them happy. Or they'll, they'll make it, it'll really affect your income. Chancellor. My Chancellor kind of sucks, but he's a powerful vassal. He's not really good at much. Uh, I I might end up having to say, screw him. I don't care. Uh, let's see. You're a pretty decent marshal, as is. Um, I could get a better one, but... Oh. I'll think about that. Uh, my spy master is good, though. I'm going to keep him for sure. Okay, I think mostly... Uh, I think this council will be okay for now. You know, sometimes it gives you a, a really dumb setup. Uh, but this, this is fine. Uh, okay, so now I do... Are there any... Let's look at my, at my realm. Are there any vassals I would like to play Kato? Uh, that are, like, close enough to being happy that maybe giving them a ward would help. None that are that close. Okay. Um, well, let's just take a look at the election real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, my, my chosen heir is, is winning, but, you know, that's partially because other people aren't voting yet. Look at the electors. Is there anyone... Yeah, like, kind of, he's actually pretty close, so maybe, maybe if I give him, like, some, some children as, uh, as wards, he'll be like, oh, you, uh, you think I'm cool enough to, uh, to look after your kids. Um, that makes me like you. 
Yeah, see, she likes that. Uh, okay. I a lot of these my own kids for now, like the the the, the sons at least. I'm going to want to. Uh, I might want to raise myself, especially. Let's take a look. Right. Okay, now what I need to do is look at, uh, what was it? The election. Right. And I need to look at the candidates. And, uh, I need to see... Where is my strong son? So I probably want to educate him myself. Or give him to someone with high education. So let's educate him. Um, either gonna be me... Well, let's, maybe someone has good traits and could. Not him. Not horrible. Yeah, let's let's see who has good education traits that might that also yeah who has because I I believe their your learning affects how good of a, a guardian you educator you are in some ways. But you also want to look at their traits. Make sure... Okay, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Because then I can just pick what traits he gets. Um, my other sons, though... I probably want to shore up... <laughs> no, I'll... I'll watch him, too. And... See who could I show any vassal? Oh no, because that's just showing my quote. Um, I might give him an older child. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I, oh right, I need to do a, a lifestyle per, uh, choice. Now the natural choice here is uh, I have a stewardship education. Oh, and I'm already. I have this filled out. Okay. I mean, that's... What's that do again? Uh, stewardship plus two. Oh, yeah, that's... That's not bad. Uh, so I'm going to want to be doing a lot of building in this on this character. Uh, but... So, because I get extra XP if I do stewardship. But I think I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to go military. I could really use uh, a lot of knights... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down this gallant tree and uh, unlock some stuff that gets me extra knights. For at I'm going to go at least to King's Guard, at which point I might change uh, to another option. Okay, right. I do need to get him a marriage. Um, and... Alliance power is part of it, but so are potential titles I can get out of it. If there's anything that's, uh, you know, in the right area for that. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be getting land using him. But a good alliance would go far. Gwynedd isn't a bad choice. Let's take a look. Have any of these started? Okay, he's got the Isles. Because I don't want anyone that's married to uh, England. Anyway, uh, alright, I definitely need to get married. And this, what I need to do is I think I need to get married for stats. Oh, as the cultural head, I do need to pick a, a fascination. Um, battlements are bad. I think I'm going to go with... This is good, too. High Crown Law helps a lot. Um, donate. Yeah, I'm going to go with Royal Prerogative. Um, point. Anyway, the point is, I do need to get a wife. Is there anywhere in particular like, lacking? Um, I think I, I, I might try to get a wife with decent learning. Uh, just because I want to advance up the, the tech tree. Um, let's put some filters on. 
Well. Yeah, can I, I at least want to do not lowborn. I do want to consider alliances as well. Oh, it's a carling. <laughs> not much in the way of uh, alliance anymore, but prestige-wise, I wonder what I would even get. Not that much. I know, shame on me for considering the evil carlings. Um, anyway, I did promise I'll talk a little bit about where I've been and all that. So while I'm looking and kind of just thinking about it, yeah, to be honest, it's just, uh, I mean, I got laid off, uh, you know, and that really sucked. And I just kind of spent, you know, I thought, oh, I'll have all this time to make, get back into making videos. Uh, but instead, I just didn't. Uh, but recently, and you know, it was, it was tough. It was a, a job I really liked, um, you know. So, oh, I should keep my uh, So I just I had a tough time with it. Uh, but now I, I have a job again, one, one that I like even. Um, I think oh, there's a good chance I'm just gonna go for uh, Gwyned. Yeah, that's that's my new life. Uh, I have a new job. I like it a lot. So, you know, that's that's good. And I'm getting back to making these videos. So, uh, with that, I mean, I've, I've kind of been trying to think about you know, what videos I want to make now, right? Do I, uh, and, you know, obviously one of them is, uh, as you can see, Crusader Kings. Uh, I guess for now I'll just get the right bishop. Make him like me more. Uh, but, you know, I've got other games. So, uh, you know, I've, I've got Bannerlord. Uh, if you if you want to see some of that, you know, I can probably play that. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, obviously this. And any games you've seen me play before. I've, I've been playing RimWorld a bit lately, too. Uh, I might try to do some RimWorld videos if anyone's interested in that. Um, I mean, you're allied to Sweden too. That's that sucks. Because Sweden was part of my plan for taking you on. Okay, well, that means you're probably helping. Shit, can I successfully murder you without getting caught? Maybe if I. I probably won't kill her, and while I probably won't get caught, it's not by that much. Uh, what if I have you help with infantry? Does that help enough? Not quite. Okay. Uh, for now, help with patronage. Um, so yeah, I mean, just let me know. Like, post in the comments if there's anything you would particularly like me to, to play. Okay, uh, is that Dijer mine? Yes, it is. I wonder if I could just... No, but he's very close. Let's just sway him a little bit. Ooh. Maybe even give him a gift? Or hell. What if... Just for a second... Is it, is it extra one even? Ah, oh, so close. Okay, but that actually, uh, so this job will slowly build up uh, my independent ruler opinion, so I'll be able to just vassalize him soon. Um, right, I still have more people that I should try to get alliances with. But I think I've reached my limit of how many people will give me powerful will give me alliance like how many strong actually powerful people will give me alliances uh so is there anyone that's just good at stuff that's worth considering i can marry my my brother to my daughter no thank you 
I, I, I want to at least get something out of it. Yeah, I guess I could try for claims. some of these claims is the thing. I don't care. We might just have to keep an eye out for some of them later. Get a better marriage. Um, okay, so military. How are my knights looking? Knights make a huge difference. Uh, and let's look at this, like prowess skill, right? It's a, uh, it's a, set, it's a skill that each character has for how well they fight. Uh, knights who have a high prowess skill are really good. Uh, each point gives a knight 100 damage and 10 toughness. Uh, so, I mean, let's let's try to put that into perspective maybe, right? So let's like look at levies, right? 10 damage. So, uh, right? Or let's look at, uh, let's look at some of these man-at-arms regiments, right? Like, let's look at Huskarls, right? That's 44 damage. Uh, so... You know, each point of prowess and uh, of 26 toughness. So, like, a, uh, a knight with two, with two points, just two points of prowess, which is really bad, uh, is almost as tough as, uh, you know, a, a single Huskarl, uh, which, of course, you get 100 with the regiment, so keep that in mind, but does, you know, significantly more damage like four times four or five times as much damage so having some good knights i mean a 14 that means this 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 person really rocks it so but right now you can see i've, I've got some kind of shitty knights so that is something i'm going to want to deal with uh and i can do this decision where i spend uh 150 prestige right to uh to invite knights and i think i think that is going to be very worth it right now um i still need to get my heir married she's feeble but intelligent and uh, she's a bit old to have a kid oh that's a lot of congenital traits uh two that are good and two that are bad um, Feeble's really bad, though, so I'm not going to do it. Um, eh, I still got to wait a little bit. I know he's on Mary game, but I'm sorry. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here. It's gone on quite long. And uh, I will see you for the 